Welcome to Real Magic Review, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is The Lineup by Luge. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. Press the little bell icon so you know when I go live, which is usually on Thursdays at 5 UK time, but often at random times and sometimes not at all. And then you'll know and you won't turn up and I won't be there and you won't be all disappointed. Uh, so do that and check out onlinemagic.co. That's my online Carb Magic course. No, it's not, you see. That's what it used to be called. It always comes out. For years it was called Carb Magic course. But now there's elastic bands, sponge balls, ring and string, coins, ropes, all sorts, and hundreds and hundreds of videos, over 700 videos, live sessions every week. Uh, and they are uploaded too, so you get hours of footage every single week for 9 99 which is less than a coffee a week. Preposterous. Have a look at the reviews on onlinemagic.co. Right, so this was recorded in this office. Well, the tutorial was recorded in this office. And you might think, well, Steve's going to be all biased. No, you see, because I wouldn't have recorded it in this office or filmed it. I keep saying recorded it. I'm recording now. I filmed it in this office. Uh, had I not really been into it, and it's, it's a corker, but I'm going to tell you why. So many reasons. First of all, this is Luch's, uh Let me just show you. The, well, let's just do the trailer. I'll talk through the trailer like I usually do. Really annoy you by talking through it, but uh, but then we'll go into to the review, the whys and wherefores. Right, first up, that's the first pause. This is from Luch's professional repertoire. And as I've said many times, a lot of people say that, but when you see him work, you go, no, it's not. Uh, it is. I've seen numerous videos of this. He, we went through a lot of different footage. There is one live performance which is included in the, the download, which I think is really important. So you see Luch performing this. You can tell he's performed it a lot. And it's something that he has been doing since, well, performing since 2010. But he came up with the idea which is, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants, so an idea on, on different ideas and blending different ideas together. Uh, and he's been, came out of it in 2008, performing it from 2010. And that's a long time ago. So you've got years of iterations and chipping away at this and making sure it works. And, and you can tell that not only by the performance, but also by the download and the props and, and why you've got these props. Oops, start it again. Oh, hang on. Let's do that. So this is um, recorded live. Right, 100% fully customizable. This is really important. So at the end, the reveal, which I'll talk about the reveals in a minute, uh, is customizable. It's a really, really, really lovely touch. And when I say customizable, I don't mean it's customizable. You've got to do lots of arts and crafts. You can bang this together in two minutes. Right, you get to your client, you might not know anything about them, and you can have a reveal at the end of this, which is tailored for that client or those people specifically. First or earn? Really important question. First. So first of all, you get four people out. They all choose a pen of a different color. And importantly, they keep that to themselves. Nobody knows what color pen they have. And you can start the performance right there. You can ask them questions after they've chosen that color and tell them where to stand. They will stand in one of four positions. These positions are marked by, you won't see it on, yeah, there you go, with, um, with these pre-printed one, two, three, four markers. So they take a, a pen out, um, nobody knows what it is. You go, right, stand in position. You ask them a question and then they stand in a certain position or you can just pop them in that position. Now you see Luch is then giving them out dry wipe boards. They are then going to draw a picture on those boards. And those boards are, and you get everything with this, by the way, everything you need to perform this, you get with it. Uh, and they will draw a picture or you, you could do an alternative presentation, but they draw a picture on those boards, pop them back in the envelopes. In the, these envelopes are see-through, by the way. So 
So they're drawing away, nobody sees what they're drawing. And that's minimal input with maximum results. What it means there is that there is, this is pretty much self-working. You don't have to do much. There's no memory work. There's kind, well, there isn't, but even if you, there's, there's all sorts built into this, which means you don't have to remember anything. And it re there really is so little going on here, which is why I'm really, really, well, I've actually decided that this is definitely gonna go in one of my shows because there's so much room for play. So, the first phase after they've drawn the pictures is to tell them, like sneak thief and things like that, is to tell them who has drawn what. Or you could have people writing words and things like that, but the drawings are so great because there's so much room for play. So they will draw a picture, you get the pictures, and you've got this lovely thing, which is who's drawn what, which is, the, the, which is a standalone routine. And at the end, the last one, you don't tell them who's drawn it because it's obvious. You actually tell them what they've drawn without seeing it. And all super, super easy. God, how dare she lie so bad. Right, so that in itself is a great routine, Sneak Thief, pretty much. But you've got all this other stuff. You've got the thing with the pens, which Sneak Thief doesn't have, the original I don't believe. And then you've got these further reveals. So you've got the people and then they turn over their numbers and you've also predicted what color they were going to choose so you've predicted the color of the drawings and from this point that's it that's enough and then they take these out and you see they've got pieces of paper in there of a sentence that makes sense. So you've also proved that they were in a predicted order. And look at the, each of the words are, are in a different color. That's a massive round of applause, but you could have, again, anything. This is the customizable bit. Look, they're just on bits of paper. That's absolutely fine. If you've got time, you could get stuff printed up, but that's the only thing you're gonna have to add to this routine. Everything else you get with it. There you go. There's so much in there. So why do I like this so much? Well, it's a banging routine. Well, Sneak Thief on its own, the great routine, loads of people do, it's brilliant. And because you've got this, this, this so much room for getting the people up, having fun with them, the drawing thing is just so much fun. And pe people do different um, versions of this. I love Pink Peter Antonio's version, he does, uh, they've got, I think they've got to describe him, what do they feel about him or something like that, and there's a lot of humour there. If you don't want to go the humour route, there's room for readings, which you can do with humour or not. So, of course, you look at a picture and you can practice your cold reading with that person, which is just so good because you don't have to get it right. It's a safe place to practice readings. You can do readings with the colours. Why did you choose a certain colour? That could be a kind of an, an almost another soft reveal at the end. So, even without any of that, you've got five minutes. You've got potentially 10, 15 minutes of material here, which is why I think it's so worth the money. Importantly, this has got no technology. Now, don't get me wrong, I love routines with tech, but I really don't like using them for finales. I have done it and I will do it, but it, I don't like it. This is all that time with no tech. This is mechanical. Nothing can go wrong, nothing can fail. The only thing that can fail is the performance and it's not easy to fail at that either. Luch takes you through this by the hand. He takes you through the routine. He takes you through the props. Importantly, every single prop in here has been designed. It doesn't look like it, which is great. And I filmed this quite a long time ago. And when I just rewatched it, I was like, I totally forgot about all that because I was looking at props going, they're just generic props, which is what you want people to think. But everything's been designed right down to the detail, to the, I'll, I'll show you actually, I'll put, I'll put the other head camera on. It's not great quality. So, um, but you, you get this package, this, this case to carry it in, which is brilliant. So it all comes in that. You've got the, the printed numbers. Now that's important. It's, yeah, you can write numbers down, but I think it looks nice to have printed numbers. You've got these, which is the dry wipe. So I did, I said you wipe them up. Um, I think I said that you draw on them, put them back in, you don't. You draw on here and then inside, you take these out and they've got the, um, 
the predictions in. You unfold the bits of paper and you've got the predictions in. So all this has been designed and made for this, specifically so they don't smudge. And there's different details that have been considered. Um, you have the pen. Now, I've got my pens that are on the way. Um, we filmed this and literally sending me the pens because I haven't done it yet. This has got so much in it that I'm not going to tell you about now, but there's just a lot going on there as well. That's been designed and created for this routine. Um, and then you've got the, even he talks through how to clean these. So the only thing you don't get is the cleaning product, which he gives you links to, and you can buy a bit of cleaning product. It's not very expensive. And these are cleanable, fully cleanable. You don't leave smudges. And he has tested this over years to make sure everything works, everything's resettable. And even if you forget to clean it for a few days, um, it doesn't matter. It's still all going to clean up and come up perfectly with the, the recommendations. You, with the pens that you get, you can, don't have to buy new pens. You can buy refills for the pens and Looch gives you all the links, etc. for that. So you've got a built-in cabaret performance. Even if this was going to be your only routine, it would give you 10 minutes, potentially, depending on what you want to do, or more, potentially even 20, but, you know, you'd have to have a lot in there. Or you could do it as a closer. I have no worries doing this as a closer. It's so much fun because it reminds me, I do fourth dimensional telepathy and that has that same feeling. It's all those people on stage. Everything makes sense. All that room and, and for, for all the stuff I talked about and it has that same feel. But it's easy, even easier than that because you really have so little work in this. And... What I haven't mentioned yet is you don't have to do this presentation. You can do a completely different one. You can just do a colour match presentation when they, they colour a picture in and you, you tell them uh, you, you've got a prediction that matches how they've coloured a picture in, which is the classic routine, the colour match routine. Uh, he originally started this way back in the day where he just had four people take a pen and draw a cross on their hands uh, and he'd tell them what colour uh, cross that they'd drawn. So, when you know how this works, you'll be able to just play with it and play with it and play with it. And that's why I think, you know, you look at the price of stuff like this and you go £150, that is nothing. If you look at the technological versions of the, this, yeah, there are slight things you might go, well, that's a bit better. But actually, to the audience, they're not better at all. It's the same trick. And it's never going to fail. And I don't care what you say, I don't care how good the, the, the tech is, sometimes it fails and there are problems built into that that you just don't get with this. I think this is brilliant. I saw him perform this a long time ago at a lecture. Now that he's released it, I cannot recommend it enough. That is the lineup from Looch. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Really important because I will answer those questions in the next live show, Thursdays at five. Uh, remember, check out onlinemagic.co. Have a look at that now. Like and subscribe and have a great one. Cheers.